One important way to strengthen LA's neighborhoods is to tackle problem properties, commercial and residential locations that are the source of gangs and guns and drugs and blight, the kinds of conditions that drag a neighborhood down. Here's what I mean. There's a school in South Los Angeles. That school is on a major thoroughfare. The fence that separates the athletic field from the sidewalk there is reinforced to repel bullets. There's an apartment building across the street. It was controlled by gang members. There were shootings there. There were drugs being sold very openly in front of that building. I went to the location. And when I went there, I had LAPD security with me. So when I walked by the building, I saw the Sentinels posted up in front of that property with arms folded, daring anyone to do anything to improve the conditions at that location. But I also saw a mom walk by that property with her kids. She didn't have LAPD security. The children who walked by that building to attend that school, they don't have LAPD security. We had to take action. So we sued the absentee owner of that property who lives in another city. And we said to the court, if he can't dramatically improve conditions at that location to make them safe, then court, make him live there. Let him know what it feels like to have bullets whiz by his head. Lo and behold, soon after he filed that lawsuit, conditions changed dramatically for the better. When we got reports of a white supremacist gang controlling three properties in the San Fernando Valley, we took action. We took action because LAPD had confiscated drugs from those houses, guns from those houses, and stolen property as well. It was even a pipe bomb that exploded at one of those locations. But because of our intervention, we were able to put a stop to this toxic mix of hate and violence and crime. The lawyers and the team around them in my office who do this work are very courageous. They're part of what's called our citywide nuisance abatement team, and they bring civil lawsuits to combat conditions like those I just described and combat them we have. This is a sustained, concentrated effort, and I made an effort as city attorney to expand it dramatically because I see how effective it can be. So since I was elected, we've actually filed 119 such cases throughout Los Angeles. We've obtained 219 injunctions and gotten more than $2 million of fines and fees and penalties through this work. Our teammates in this effort include the Los Angeles Police Department. They refer cases to us about properties like these when they think that arrests and prosecutions aren't going to create by themselves the kind of sustained, long-lasting changes that make a neighborhood safe that altering the physical conditions at the property will, that changing the management of the property will, and that's what we achieved through these civil lawsuits. When I became city attorney, I learned that members of communities throughout Los Angeles were typically reluctant to report these properties to us. Why? Because they were very concerned they'd be retaliated against. So we created an easy to use, anonymous online method of reporting buildings like these to us and anybody can do that through my website, lacityattorney.org. We also have made it easy to anonymously report such properties by phone. Anyone can call us at 213-978-8340 and we'll be there. We'll be there to follow up and to take action where it's necessary. In addition to this work, this tough, gritty, essential work, we also recently convene, convened a team of departments throughout Los Angeles to meet in our office to discuss how we could collaborate across departmental lines to try to solve problems, especially blight in neighborhoods throughout our city, because we are so much more effective when we collaborate. And I'm very optimistic that this team, this invigorated team, is going to do great things to assure that the conditions in every neighborhood meet the level of quality of life that all of us should be entitled to. I'm Mike Fewer, the Los Angeles City Attorney. Thanks for watching.